this is the four game uh, transfer rule now. So after four games, then right. you're locked in and staying. But do you think this and is it's go- a good rule? I mean, it's it's a good rule, Dan, because you know that before this year, if you played one down. Yeah. of any game you lost that year. And so it's really a good rule for players. It's a good rule for coaches. It's just new. And so nobody knew exactly how it was going to play out in certain situations. This is a, a very high-profile case, but I think, uh, I think at the end of the day, and ultimately it's a really good rule for players and coaches. But Dabo Sweeney could have strung – Kelly Bryan along. I, I don't know if you've talked to Dabo yet, but I'm curious. Yet, no. But I'm curious if like did he do the right thing for this for his kid, but not for his team? I think he did both. I really do. I, I think that, you know, Dabo is such a he is so proud of the culture they've built at Clemson. And he is, you know, it's a family atmosphere. And it's not hokey. I mean, it's it's for real. I mean, it's legitimate. And I think he did what he felt he had to do in the best interest of one of his players who he cares deeply for in Kelly Bryant. I think he made the, the right decision for his team by naming Trevor Lawrence the, the starting quarterback because he ultimately gives them the best chance to win a championship. So I think he did what was best in both cases. Now, the problem is, you know, if Trevor Lawrence goes out there Saturday and gets knocked out of the game, yeah. he doesn't get to go back to Kelly Bryant. And, and you know, in the game last year up in the Carrier Dome, that's exactly what happened. Kelly Bryant got knocked out of the game, and that was a big part of why Syracuse was able to pull the upset last year up in Syracuse. Well, why do you think Saban's gotten away with this with his two quarterbacks, even though we know Tua is his starter and Jalen Hurts yeah. is, what, 26-2, and two, I think, in his career exactly. there? Exactly. I think that's a, a question that only Jalen Hurts can answer. I don't, think this was, I don't think this was Nick Saban handling the situation any differently than, than Dabo or, or being deceptive in any way. I think this is more of a case of Jalen Hurts saying, hey, I'm going to stick this one out. I'm not going to redshirt and transfer at the end of this year. Now, here's the the important distinction between Jalen Hurts and Kelly Bryant. And and most people, you know, you got to just make sure you understand this. Kelly Bryant is a senior right now, Mm -hmm. and he's graduated. And so he has one year to go play. Jalen Hurts is on track to graduate at the end of this season. And if he redshirted and shut it down right now after four games, he could have two years to go play. So even if he decides I'm going to stay as the backup and if they need me, I'm here and going to try to win another championship with Alabama, he can still graduate, be a graduate transfer and go somewhere for one year if he wants to do that. So he's in a little different situation because he still has that extra year at the end. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.